Hello there, and welcome to Clive and Wrench, a new 3D platformer that borrows the best of every great 3D platformer that's come before it. I'm so excited to play this, let's go! Oh man, Clive and Wrench! Oh, this is a game I've been waiting to play for a very, very long time. I mean, okay, let me rephrase that. Play the final version of. I've been supporting the developer of this game for quite a while, um, and I, it's an absolutely brilliant collectible on platformer. I love it. The last time I played it was about a year and a half ago, and I'm sure it's evolved a lot since then, so I cannot wait to get stuck into the game. Let's go. Uh, new game, I'm ready. So, a new game. Alright, so I guess, I guess, like. It, 
I, I think it's probably saying that because I have like save file from an old version of the game from like a year and a half ago. So yeah, but no, new new game. Let's go. I'm ready. It's gonna be exciting. So yeah, this this borrows elements from the best of the best of 3D platformers. Like this is clearly a reference to Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, the way you enter stages back then. Um, just oh, oh, there's oh, there's gonna be so many references that I personally don't get, but there's also gonna be so many that I will try and point out if I spot them, um, or maybe some of them are just coincidence. That's also possible. But oh man, this game's so good. Just it, an amazing 3D collectible platformer. Just trust me. It's an absolute joy. Alright, here we are. This is the hub world. As you can see, there's 110 timepieces, and there's 10,000 of the little uh, pocket watches, so... Yeah, lots to collect. So yes, the uh, the voices in this game are done very much like stuff like Banjo-Kazooie, uh, where it's... Uh, they've taken dialogue and they've mixed it up and, you know, made it into gibberish like that. So, hey you two, if you need to brush up on your advanced move, check out the orientation room I've set up. Otherwise, on what's up, what's the next area? Yeah, so, the orientation is this way, so, yeah, why not? Let's go. Let's go straight in. Alrighty. Yeah, so, did you know, <laughs> super cute, you can jump. Whoa, you can jump. Look at me. I did that thing where, you know, you, you jump a bit and, yeah, yeah, it's that thing. You know that jumping thing? Yeah, I did it. Whoa. Did you know you could jump twice? Whoa, I did it. Oh, and did you know if you LB, uh, which one is that? That's that one, right? Whoa, you can do an even longer jump. Whoa, I can't believe it. And you can double jump off of that. Woo! I always get confused between LB and LT. Is that is it just me or? I don't know. Maybe not. But you can do that and you can, whoa, you got a little thing there. Would you look at that? That's crazy. And you've also got this little device that will tell you where some pocket watches are. Maybe there's one down here. Whoa, would you look at that? But also maybe, because I've played this game before, and I happen to know there is something over here. <laughs> look! It's an Easter egg! Happy Easter! <laughs> and uh, an adorable dog. Um, you, you love to see it. It is awesome. I, no, I genuinely, I love stuff like this. That's fantastic. Ooh, whoops, uh, that ain't gonna work. Uh, let me do that. Yeah, so, as you can tell, the moveset in this game is wicked. Um, so, Nancy's equipped our backpack with a watch detecting radar system. Activate it, and it should point us towards the nearest pocket watch. That is very handy indeed. But yeah, like, this, this moveset is just absolutely wicked. There's so much you can do with it. You can move super fast. You can double jump out of you know, big um, jumps, like, it, a lot of games like this wouldn't allow you to do that because it's arguably broken, <laughs> like, but this game is purely designed around utilizing the most out of your abilities, and it is, oh, the level design is great, and um, the music so far, pretty good too, so, yeah, and you got a nice little spin attack, and there's a, there's a, oh, I, I appreciated the noise on <laughs> Oh, whoops. Actually, wait. So does that work the same, actually? No, actually, it's slightly different. They're, they're slightly different roles. Okay. I just wanted to double check if they were the same or not. But no, they, they are different. Um, so there we go. I got a feeling I've missed something. So reveal to me your secrets. There's something around there. Maybe. Well, I guess we're going to have to find out, aren't we? If there isn't, well, so be it. There isn't, unless it's down here. No, it is not. That's fair enough. Goodbye, it's been nice knowing you. Um, so, is there actually anything else around here? It's, it's suggesting there is, but I don't know exactly where that is. Um, I thought it was going to be like another case of, hey, it's around the world. But, uh, oh yes, and you've also got your, uh, your typical, like, extra bounce, should you need it. Uh, which you, you, you might, but you also might not, because you can go real far. As you can probably tell, it's 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 insane how far you can actually go. It is incredible. But yeah, no, I'm not seeing anything else. Um, uh, nice job. I think we're ready for the real thing now. If you can spot the vortex, exit with first person mode, right stick. Okay, so uh, there it is. Look at that. First person mode. It looks pretty good. Good stuff indeed. So there might be something else in here. I can't really tell. 
uh, because this is connected to the main overworld. So if it is, if there is something in here, I can come back. It's fine. It's absolutely no problem whatsoever. But yeah, here's a bunch of levels we're going to be going into. The Middle Age Crisis, Iceratops, Iceratops, in fact. Um, Corsair's Cove, Hair Today, Gone Tomorrow, The Chimp, The Bag, and The Bunny, Ancient Grease Trap, A Grave Mistake, Tempest Tombs, Cajun Mob Bog, The Great Wen, and Bunny, I Shrunk the Chimp, and we are starting with Bunny Ash on the Chimp. So it may seem like, oh man, 850 in the overworld? That's quite a lot of, of time pieces. Like, how can there be so many? Well, each level has its own little intro section, which I really appreciate. And it is really cool. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Judas Cradle. <laughs> oh my god. So there's a lot of these. There's a lot of like, little references here and there. So this is a... Uh... Wait. Main frame rebooted, right, I was trying to see what that said. The Control... The Control Toss? Season 1? I don't know what that's a reference to, but that's fine, that's probably just me. Uh, the Dog Father, Bad Breath Taker, Plonkers Bad Breath Taker, oh my god, there's so many. Barry Planter and the Dungeon of Mystery, Barry Planter and the Philanthropist's Brick, Froggy 2, Dudsy 3D, obviously, so how are you? The Conquest Bad Fur Day, Harry Potter, uh, Frogger, Multi 3D, Taken Free, Taken Free, not sure that, Wally Gang Karting, <laughs> Lil Stu, Bob and Baz, Space Blaster, Supposed to Test that one. So, yeah, like there's so many of these little references, it's incredible. Ow, thank you. Oh, Chicken Nuggies! <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love this, it's so good. Like, there's just so many amazing little references here and there. Um, it's, it's just, oh, there's so much work I've just been put into just creating some just awesome stuff. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So, we're, we're going to go into our, our first main level in a second once I collect all the stuff around here. As you can tell, um, the <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, no, it's amazing. Um, yeah, like, there's... As you can tell, there's there's the first level is a pretty ambitious one, like having having this here. But oh man, Anton Ball, hey, that's cool. Yeah, there are um, there are references to other indie games in this game, which is really great. Um, I really appreciate that. Uh, what does that say? Uh, I, it would help if I was reading it properly. I was reading the side. <laughs> like, let's let's read it the impossible way, shall we? You know, the way you can't read it. Oh, yes, you may have also noticed sound effects. Um, there are some, uh, whoops, wrong one. There are some sound effects which, uh, you may have heard in other games, like the, uh, bah, 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 noise earlier. That was, um, you, you would have heard that in, um, uh, Scooby Doo Night of Hundred Frights, uh, amongst other things, for sure. Bub Rabbit Lost in Outer Space drinks Suave Miami Mobsters. Bry the Adelaidean Tiger, <laughs> that's Ty. Robert Luther fight for bikini <laughs> at all. Robert Luther! <laughs> oh my god. Princess of Egypt, the time desert, nice. SWA San uh, uh, and number nine lives. <laughs> San a number! Oh my god. Ted Eagle Skateboarding 4, Steely Really Automobile Freaks. <laughs> Just, it's amazing. <laughs> It is amazing. I love this game. It's so great. So great. I have no right to be as, as good as they are, but they are genuinely great. Scratch 21. Oh. And like, even here, like, you can see, like, they've... An insect's journey. Like, One-Eyed Knight, Beast <laughs> Limited, Terrifying Key, Rex the Salamander, Chimp Outbreak, Puppet Monster Quest, Bongo Boo Boo Sailor, a toy sale, oh, a lovely Toy Story 2 reference in there, Wally Wombat, Spiral 2, Trouble with the Trolley, eh? Anubis and Tut's Curse, Jeff and Dexter, Socket and Clunk, Sneaky Raccoon, Wally Double Trouble, Marco Sun Soaked, Louis Cuss, like, they're just amazing. It's so good. Like, how could you not love it? Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. For some reason, I my brain is in a in a different plane of existence apparently. 
where I am eager to do the wrong thing. Um, I'm, I mean, I haven't played this in quite some time, so I'm just readjusting. But yeah, as you can tell, like, the game just goes above and beyond to be awesome immediately. And the thing is, there are some people who will miss some of these references, and that's fine. Um, but we've noticed them, and that's what matters. So we appreciate the hard work that has been put into just being absolutely crazy with its, uh, with its references and its jokes right off the bat. But I'm personally really looking forward to seeing speedruns of this game, just because of how good the moveset is, and how much people are going to be able to do with it. But uh, let's head into our first level! Honey, I shrunk the chimp! Oh man, so good. Oh, this music's pretty good. So, there are 400 timepieces to find. There are 10 main collectibles. And there are 5 keys. And uh, here's the first main collectible. Ancient stone found! Has your, has your mother sold her mackerel? <laughs> oh man, yeah, I love that each ancient stone has like a little, I don't know, like just reference pretty neat. I appreciate it. Hey look, here's another one. Maybe the first, certainly not the last. It wasn't the first! I got something else first! Yay! These ancient stones are what I have to assume Darkus is after. Supposedly they possess great power, which in Dr. D's hands doesn't sound good. They should, however, come in handy for op opening boss doors in the space between time. Great. Well, I'll look forward to fighting some bosses. I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful time. We definitely won't perish, it's fine. Hey, you found me! Looks like you don't need me to tell you that you can talk to people by pressing Y. Oh, but be on the lookout for yellow striped poles. They're less slippery than most, and can be climbed. Be careful! Looks like enemies ahead. Some of them have a patrol route, some can fly, and others even fire projectiles. All sorts of them can be defeated with a quick spin, though. Nice. Yeah, they can. Yeah, this music's real good. Oh man, I, I can't believe this is funny. I've been waiting for this game for, for years and years. Mmm, carrot cake. Feeling groggy? This should help peck you, pep you back up to full health. This should help peck you. Yeah, you uh, birds will attack you now. It's part of the part of the epic rabbit lore. Scrub X hand soap. Uh, like just. There's... Oh, hello. Creepy little thing. But yeah, this, uh, this game is out right now, so if you want to buy it, please do. It's on PC and Switch, and I believe it's also coming to PS4 soon, if it's not out already. Careful, environmental... Actually, no, I think it is out already. Uh, environmental hazards are everywhere. Fire can burn. Who knew? You know what? Like, y you joke, but like some, some people don't know that, and it's good to teach them. Yeah, I also like Honey Gyrios. <laughs> hey there, how you doing? Oh, I've collected B. <laughs> Excellent. There are five Bs to find. So yeah, I've, I assume being a collector farm platformer inspired by the classics, there are going to be five keys in every level. There are going to be ten um, stones in ah in every level. Okay, I may like nearly. That's a kind of shock up there. Um, hey. The chef's matches, lovely. The first, <laughs> the first chess matches, and the the Maillard reaction. I don't know what that's a reference to. Um, Asylum grounds. <laughs> oh, that's actually really great. Um, that's uh, going to be a boss. I know in which world, but I won't say what until we get there. Um, I'm going to leave some sort. I like. I, as I say, I've played uh, a lot of this game, most of the game actually. Um, but things have changed since then. There were some, like, bosses which weren't implemented, some levels weren't properly implemented, like, I'm sure there's a bunch of level design that has changed. Uh, if I, like, notice something drastically different, I'll point it out, but honestly, I might not really remember. It has been a while, so I, uh, I probably won't. Oh, I remember this, yeah. I disagree that a fan could blow a bowling ball to that extent, but I appreciate that it's helped us get to another part of the level, so... I won't be complaining, even though I did just complain. So we will go in there in a bit, because uh, I know there's a key and stuff, but that actually does lead to a totally different section. So uh, we'll, we'll go there later. 
Oh, this is surprising. Oh, hello! <laughs> like you came out of nowhere. You startled me. You did me a big frighten. But yeah, as I say, like the because it's uh, inspired by the amazing collect from uh, platformers of the past, we are going to be seeing some some traditional tropes. Oh, hello there, young man. Can you help? I was teaching my kids to fly when my wing got damaged by that awful purple elixir. Please, if you find them, can you let them know where I am? I can reward your kindness. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you. I'm assuming you're going to give me a stone tablet, which I require. So, yeah. No, that's good. That's good. Oh, man. I, I, I can't get over it, but I'm playing this game. It's... Like, it, I, I'm certainly not the only one. There are so many people who have been wanting this game for so long. And rightfully so. It's, like... This is one of the best three platformers I think I've ever played. It genuinely, it's so fun. What is there a visual representation of the, the tears in space time? I nearly said tears. The, the tears for space time is, is just letting out for losing all of the space time watches. Um, yeah, caused by Dr. Dorcas. Uh, simply pick them up and patch up the continuum. Grab enough of them and we'll be able to track Dorcas to another era. Yeah, we will. So yeah, as, as you can probably expect with platformers like this, you can uh, collect them, uh, but you don't need all of them to unlock the next era. Um, just a, a large majority. Um, and yeah, like it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's a game, genuinely, like I'm not just saying this because like obviously I am a fan, but like, I, like this is a game that, despite being new, feels nostalgic. And it's very hard to get that right. <laughs> Because that's the vibe they're going for. Like, it, uh, it's very apparent, given for, you know, what we're doing. Um, but it just, it does. It just, it feels nostalgic. And it's so impressive. And I just, I absolutely love it. Um, so we can go in there. Um, but there is actually some glass on there, as you may have noticed. So I think it's time to go down here, where we unlocked this little area. Oh, there was a little pain there, sorry. Careful, some enemies are sneaky. You can normally figure out when, when they're near from audio or context clues. Fair enough. Hey, there's one. It's a terrifying, massive spider. But then again, I am small, so I guess it's not that massive. Oh, I think I got hit there. But I saved the bee friend. Hello, bee friend. Ah, the living room. So if, if this is the place where we do our living, well, where do we go when we're dead? Anyway, so far so good. There's a checkpoint. Hey, it's me, Mistake the Obvious. These checkpoints will save your location in space time, just in case you meet an untimely fate. Well, that's nice. Hmm. Uh, is there anything? Oh, I, I, no, there's nothing else there. All right, cool. I didn't know if there, if I'd missed anything down below. I do not believe so, though. So that's good. We're gonna collect all our stuff. Oh, hello. Yeah, he didn't see that. Aha! So, three keys. We're getting there. Uh, I believe I know what the keys unlock. We will see that. Yes, it'll be this. Um, aha! Safe! Looks like it's locked tight. Five keys should do the trick, though. Yeah. Gotta love it. Collecting keys. Very satisfying. I'd say the thing that reminds me most of would be Sly Cooper, she needs a Sly Raccoon, uh, as it was known at that point. Um, as, uh, yeah, you uh, you need a bunch of keys in each level to open a safe, and well, it's actually like bottle clues, but um, so indie cart, super indie carts. Oh, nice, cool. That that game looks great. So yeah, if there are uh, indie games on screen, hey, there they are. We'll we'll be back there. Um, yeah, if, uh, if there are any indie games on screen, uh, which I think there might be many, uh, which is very cool, uh, definitely look them up. The reason they're here is because they're friends of the developer, or they are, well, well and, or, they are amazing indie games. Uh, and I mean, to be fair, each of the ones here are amazing indie games. I'm not, I'm, like, I'm not saying that, like, they're only there because they're friends. I mean, like, but you know what I mean, like, yeah, the, these indie games are awesome. Um, I, I've been following the majority of these games. Some of them I'm sure I, I won't actually have heard of, but I've been following the majority of these games for quite a while, so I'm looking forward to their inevitable release 
at some point in the near future, whenever that may be. Games take a while to make, as you probably know. Um, so, you know, they're not ready yet. But hey, that opens the door back, which is nice, so we can go see our B-friend there later on. Um, but that'll be for later. Oh, I'm just too low down. Oh, hello. So also, as you've noticed, there aren't actually any lives, so if you do uh, die, you just go back to a checkpoint. No time lost, it's all good. Uh, I'm actually going to just quickly look at the options. Um, a few controls. Is there... Okay, no, I was going to say, is there a, a sensitivity for the uh, the camera? But no, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, you can see the ancient stones as well. And you can see how many we're missing. And, um... Oh, I didn't actually mean to activate the, uh... The hint for where the watches are. I will only use that as a last resort. Like, I don't want to, like, rely on it. I, pr I really appreciate it's there. Because, genuinely, there's so many watches to find. It's very easy to, like miss some, but I don't, I'm not going to rely on it. A web of highs! Yay! Yeah, I was just going to see if there was like a, a sensitivity for like the camera control, if I could turn it faster or anything, but nah, it's, it's fine. You cannot. I feel like there's something behind here, but my jump did not do the jump properly, so we may never know. I'm going to find out though, don't you worry. It feels like there's something over there. Uh, so, there was uh, the easter egg before, there should be an easter egg in every single level, um, I believe. Now, I don't actually know where they are, genuinely, like that's not like a, a joke or anything, I- oh, okay. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, I genuinely don't know where the easter eggs are. So, if I find them, fantastic, if I don't, so be it. Um, I'll try my best. So what does this do? Ah, there's another room in the house. Would you look at that? Oh, very nice. This part of the song really reminds me of Tumbi 2. I don't know if that was in any way intentional or not, but it does, and it makes me very happy. It's uh, it reminds me of um, there's like a snow level in the second game, and when you purify the area, it becomes kind of like farmland. Uh, of sorts, and uh, it's got this like instrumentation where it's like, doo, 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 doo. yeah, I don't think we can do that. Okay, fine. We'll we'll stop trying. I just wanted to try again because it was right there. Actually, you know what? Ah, give me a sec. I might be able to get to it from over here. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it a good old go. Just give me a sec. I'm gonna get as high as I can and. Yeah! Nah, it's not letting me. Okay, there's an invisible wall. I just wanted to try. You never know. You never- Oh, look at that! Cool. Pointy B weapon. <laughs> uh, machine part, you wear it in, on your noggin. Rain, rain, go away. Fluffy s striped fellows. Sweet bee nectar. Fetching in yellow and black. The main- uh, the, the main with the keys to freedom. Dorcas is holding a sausage. A bee name, also a nameless person. Oh, I love it. Uh it's so good. There's just so many little things just around. It's so good. It adds so much depth to this whole game. Just, just, yes. Love it. Love it. Sting operation. Nice. I wonder how difficult, like, creating, like, punny type names were for these. And, like, I bet, like, throughout development they were like, oh, like, I've got a really good name, but I've also got a second name, and, like, this one's going to take precedent and like oh like I'm gonna change it to this one actually I've changed my mind I think this is better and like yeah that must happen a lot right it's like trying to choose the, the best name like I've, I've done that in writing like when when you're writing like a joke for a for a video you're like oh I wonder if there's a better joke for that, that I could make here the answer is always yeah there probably is um but like like you you you'll have a joke and then you'll switch it for another one because you're not sure if it's good enough or it flows as well or what have you Yes, there's a bathroom! Whoa! Can you believe it? How on earth? Looks like my little brother Snatcher was stowed away with someone. Everything's show he's behind, uh, between errors, though, so a quick whack should send him home. Oh, this guy, right, yes. Yes, this, uh, this feels like a, a reference to, uh, 
Oh, whoops, yeah, I knew I was gonna die. Um, <laughs> I knew I was gonna die. I knew I was going to be pummeled forever. Um, it's fine. We'll, uh, we'll make our way back. Um, yeah, I don't know, there's, uh, I've seen, like, stuff like, uh, uh, the mouse, like, chase the mouse in, in games before, so it makes me think it's, it's that, but... Ha! Ah, we took him out! Slippery when wet! Yeah, this room, I don't know if it wasn't, in, in, like, inspired by, but it feels very much like a room from Toy Story 2, which makes me happy, because it's one of the best 3D platformers of all time. Knees and toes! I love it! It's, uh, ooh, banana! <laughs> yeah, uh, parody of Head and Shoulders shampoo. Um, a lot of these references will be quite British. Um, oh, you got stuck on the carpet. Great, thank you. <laughs> Gotta catch a snatcher. Yeah, so if, uh, if you don't get the reference, um, it might be that you don't know it. Uh, like, in some cases, obviously, I don't know them all. Uh, or it might be a British thing that you are not aware of if you are not from the UK. Because that's, uh, that's likely to be a the case for a lot of these. I don't know if Head & Shoulders is a UK, like, brand, but... It might be. Why most switches are simply belly flopped? Uh, uh, sometimes they need a little more co uh, coercion. Fair enough. Like that. Whoa, I did it. And just like that. Have we flooded the entire world? Yeah, we sure have. Yeah, this very much feels like Toy Story 2. You love to see it. Alright, well, there's plenty to collect in this room. Obviously, there's one more key. So there's one more ancient stone piece. Add a key in this room, and that'll be the final one. Uh, then it's just all the watches we need to find. Uh, which, if there's around, like, 70 or so more here, that would be great, because that would cover us. Uh, not guaranteed to be the case, of course, but it would be nice if it was. Um, as I say, I'm going to try my best to get them all, because I do want to collect everything. It's, we're going for 100% here. The game's real fun. It's worth it. Uh, for some reason, you don't want to grab on that. Oh, actually, was it because that one you can't grab on? I don't know. But he way I managed it, so who cares? Anything down here? Oh, it's a plunger! That's nice. Oh, that's... Oh, I actually really like that. I really like, like, the, uh... The change when you're underwater. That's actually very, very soothing sounding. Yeah, here we go. There's the final key. Perfect. There we go. Ta da! Yeah, how hard was it, I wonder, to make multiple jokes around, you know, like, uh, oh, jokes around safes? Because you have to, like, do one per world, presumably. So that that must be quite difficult. I would have thought. Oh, actually, my air's not good, is it? Ah! There is, a, there is a much faster way to swim, as it turns out. Yes, yes, there is. There is a much faster way. I was, I was going the very slow way, which was absolutely killing me. <laughs> like... How about we don't do that? Oh, come on. There we go. I was going to say, you can get out of the water. I believe in you. There we go. So, there is... Whoa! That is a much bigger leap than I thought it was going to be. So, we just need to go over here. And I think this is going to be the last stuff, in theory. Assuming I haven't missed anything somewhere. I mean, I've missed an Easter egg somewhere. I don't know where that is. Um, it might be outside to be fair. Oh, look, there's the exit. It's a level. Whew, you found it. Sorry that you don't re-enter the time stream with the time machine, but we just don't have time to improve on the prototype while Darkus is still at large. Just hop in and we'll head back to the space between time. Nice. Alrighty. Well, we can do that. Here's a thing. Yeah. The world looks nice, no? <laughs> well done for finding me. My wrist rounded time machine allows for a much more accurate re-entry coordinates. I promise we'll sort Ainee's navigation out when we get a moment. That's fine. We're all good. We don't need to improve it. Okay, there is three that I'm missing. Where? I don't know. Um, so I'm going to make my way back. And if we can find it on the way, great. 
If not, then... Well... Also great? I can't see. <laughs> there we go. We're good. We're good. It's all good. Uh, where's the exit? Yeah, we need to go back to the safe. Yeah, the, the free could be pretty much anywhere. As for the uh, the secret uh, Easter egg, like it's not like a necessity, obviously, per level. So like I'm not going to go out my way to find them all. If I know where they are, I will. Uh, I know where one other is. Um, but here we go. Safe as houses. Nice. So yeah, there's the uh, the PS cube uh, right there, uh, which is pretty good. I appreciate its existence. So, is there anything I can see in this room that immediately jumps out to me? If there is, great. If there isn't, also great, I guess. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't think it'd be over there. I'm not seeing it in this room. It might be in the room we were just in, to be fair. Um, or it's going to be in this room. It's unlikely to be uh, in, like... The uh I'm gonna see if there's an Easter egg down there. Nah, I can't spot one. I thought maybe that's where it might be. Uh yeah, this it's unlikely to be in the vents because the vents are quite compact, so it'd be a bit silly for me to have missed it in the vents. Yeah, my best guess for an Easter egg would be like out the window where you can just see it from a distance or something. But maybe not. I think I'm going to... Oh, is it right here? It's right below me? Wait, what? Oh, as in down below. Right, right. Okay, right. I was like, what? How? Is it right there? No, it's, it's in the first room. Okay. That makes me feel slightly better. I assume it... Yeah, it's still down below. Alright. Again, that's good. That's good. So, good to know I didn't really miss it thus far. It was Oh, there's one. Oh, there's only one missing. There it is, I see it! There we go! Oh, if I just checked underwater here. Well, there we go! Timeline fully restored. Would you look at that? We're heroes! I love this game so much. It's so fun. So, level 1 does not actually have a boss, it seems, um, but there will be a boss, I think, in every other level. Or well, certainly most, if not every. But uh, there you go! We did it! We beat the level! That feels pretty good. Ah, oh, so fun. Such a fun game so far. Absolutely love it. So yeah, there you go! We're well on our way to beating the game. Feels good. So next up will be the Great Wen. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Uh, Doctor Who reference, Bad Wolf. I love it. I love it. But yes, we are heading to next time the great one we're gonna end it here thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have i'd very much appreciate it if you would leave a like and subscribe maybe uh share the video around and check out my twitch twitter and patreon if you'd like to support me in the channel and absolutely pick up this game it's so good i'm so glad it's it's out and i really hope it sells well because the developer has done an amazing job and i absolutely love it so thank you for watching next time the great when i'll see you then take care Bye bye